Alrighty. Hello, hello. How's everyone doing today? Surprise, I am live. Um, my kids are not here right now. They stayed the night at some family's house, and so I had extra time to stream today, so I took advantage of it. Just doing some decorating. I'm gonna turn down this music. Hopefully that's an okay volume. Or maybe I'll just pause it for now. Okay, so let's switch over to the game. Yes. We're just gonna do some decorating. <laughs> Since this is kind of a surprise stream, I don't really know what I'm going to do. I'll probably just keep working on what I was working on yesterday. So, let's just play. Okay, so, I need to trash those. I think I have my garbage can in my storage. So let's get that out. I'm gonna trash some flowers. Even though it feels very wrong to do. There it is. Okay. I'm gonna bring it over to my spot, so... Let's go over to where we've been working. We've been working on the... like, resident... co-op... farmer's market... living area. I don't really have, like, a name for it, but... basically turning, like, the resident neighborhood area into, like, a little farmer's market. Hi, Philbert. Goodbye. Oh, look at little Miss Molly watering her flowers! Okay, how can I, like, I have to get a picture of that. <gasps> oh, that little duck. I think she likes her flowers. Aww. So cute. <laughs> she likes her garden. Okay, I always forget how I let myself sneak around here. So let's see how it's going. This is kind of where we left it off at. I was gonna start doing some pathing. I was working on some pathing and then my capture card like decided to stop working. Oh, we were starting on this little eating area. Oh, those trees like grew really fast. I am so confused by that. Because they were just like the small tiny ones yesterday. I am a wee bit confused. Okay. So, I think I'm just going to continue what I was working on yesterday, which was... Um, working on the pathing. So get that started, and then we can start, like, actually decorating. I 
I thought this spot was done. But, you know, my daughter might have came in here and did something. She might have kicked this path up. I don't have an eye to just like place where all the plate pieces need to be and just connect them. I have to go little by little. I don't think that was supposed to be there. Okay. Do I'll wait and do like the filler pieces. I just want to do the edges. So I can at least get the shape of the path done and then I can fill it in later. Let's see. I'll just kind of bring it around. Oh, nope, I don't want you there, but it's okay. Let's get this little path for the doorway. I think I'll do that with this door too. Okay. Oh, I need to pick up those stalls, but let's trash these flowers so I can have a little bit more space. Yes, you should toss something. Let's see, we want to keep the orange ones. So get rid of the red and yellow. <clears throat> and these white ones too can go. I think that was it. back down around. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I forgot to put my phone up here. Doing the paths. I think I can make a little rounded spot. Oops. Not there, but that's okay. Star Crunch United, thanks for the follow. How are you doing today? I am just, this is uh, like an extra stream for me, so I wasn't super prepared, but I'm just working on decorating my island. So thank you for being here. I don't know what I'm doing with this specific area. I'm just kind of winging it with the pathing to, as like a starting point and then figuring it out from there. Okay. So this goes 
that a little bit. Okay, so... I think... Yeah, I'll keep this path kind of wide. This... Because in my imagination, this is kind of like a well-used area by all the villagers. Um, once I get the pathing down, I want to work on this spot right here, which is going to be a little bee farm. And we'll sell some honey. Or maybe something like that. Um, let's see. I'm going to bring it up a little bit. And I just don't like having the swoops, like having multiple, but some items I can't help it. Hmm, nice pathing, not what I'd use, but nice nonetheless. Thanks! I know everyone has their own style, which is so cool, but yeah. I really like this, and it works for my island. So it's definitely kind of chaotic at the moment, but that is a-okay. Okay, so let's bring it down just a little bit, maybe. Mm. No, probably not. Yeah, I really don't have a plan for this. So I'm just kind of laying as I go. I'm working on the villagers I have before I focus on my island. Yeah. So are you like doing some dreamy hunting or something like that? Or where are you at with that? What villagers are you looking for? I always like to know what villagers people like and want on their island. I've been playing a couple months. Nice. Is this your first time playing then? Or just like on the island that you're on? I've been playing... I've had this game for several years, but I haven't really played it consistently for that long. But it's still fun. What are you guys talking about? Uh-oh. Someone's having some beef. She knows how many pants. They'll still go just fine, even if you don't water them every day. <laughs> so I figured everything was fine. But now they're gone? Isn't it? It is, isn't it? I tried to water them when I realized they were in bad shape. But it was already too late. What happened to her flowers? <laughs> oh. Okay. Are you guys starting some drama? Most of my village has been so nice to each other lately, so I don't know what's going on with them. I am at a two-star island because I remove stuff, but I'm going to get back to three stars in the coming week. Nice! Nice. It's been so long since I've played from the very beginning that I kind of have forgotten what's like all necessary. But it's so fun. Do you have a theme that you're working for for your island? And is it okay if I call you Star? If, or if you have another name you prefer to go by, just let me know. Okay. 
shift. Not right here. It's definitely, the game's definitely a little bit of a grind at first, if I remember correctly. Let's see. Okay, let's fill this up. And put the full path with the empty spots in there. See, once we fill it up, it'll look a lot better. So I'm leaving some of those squares open because part of this pathing has like a worn in block and I like using that sporadically like you can see like right there so is that good right there? okay so let's get the other filler oh no <laughs> every time I can't do pathing without messing it up like that my island is overpopulated in flowers, yeah, but I need to replace three island need to replace three islanders before I can focus on reworking the island. Gotcha. So are you trying to like get your the islanders you want first? Is that what I'm understanding? Before you start decorating? Because that's probably a good idea. Getting islanders that you want is kind of can be a pain. Okay. Okay, I like how this little padding turned out. I need to rework that still. Okay, so let's put the storefronts back. Maybe I'll put a retro transport station here sideways to kind of edge off the side. Let's see. So let me go grab one of those. Maybe I can put one on that side too. To make it look like it's kind of one long big building, sort of. for the retro transport station stops. Um, so they're like benches. Yeah, so there they are. Those should be able to fit like right in those crevices. <laughs> Sorry, Shino. Needs to get out of the way. Yeah, that is right. Then I can focus on moving houses, adding paths, decorations, moving flowers. Yeah, that's a good strategy. I don't even remember how I started this island. Because I started it so long ago. Oh, maybe I don't like that to the house. Okay, I'm not going to do that one there. Yeah, when I finally... S my goal is to get a new switch in the future. And when I do, I, I think that's how I'm going to start it. Probably get my villagers first. Like, decide on a theme... And then, like, get the villagers I want, and then start the decorating process. Okay, that's cute. Okay, so let's get some stuff out. Oh, yeah, I forgot to put these ones back. 
I'm planning on replacing my three least favorite islanders with Rosie, Coco, and Fauna. Yeah, those are so cute. I have Coco on my island. Um, I kind of got lucky finding her um, a while ago. I didn't even know she was a character. <laughs> and I stumbled upon her using some Nook Miles tickets. And I was very happy about that. She's so cute. And so is Fauna. I wish I had Fauna. And Rosie is super cute. They're all they're all super cute. <laughs> so do you have a like a plan of what you want to do with your island? Like how you want to decorate or like the vibe you're going for? Based on those characters, it sounds like something cute. cute to like place walls all around here. Sasha's the only male allowed on my island. Nice. <laughs> I know there's not very... Uh, there are some cute male characters but definitely my favorites are the female ones. They're just so cute. Like, I don't know if I'm going to be keeping Vivian on my island. She fits the vibe, but like her character isn't always that nice. Okay. Okay, so let's go get some stuff out. Um, to do this garden. Okay, so I am gonna try to work on a bee farm, or I don't know, I think bee farm is really the best way to put it. So I need to get the beehives, um, let's get some, maybe some shelves and boxes I think first, so I can like kind of use them to place things. Okay, so looking for... Mm, if only that didn't have a blue pot, that might have been good to add. Hmm. Okay, so we'll add the bug a bug cage in there. We'll get my two beekeeper hives, some wooden boxes. Um, definitely all the weed I can get. We'll start with that. And then we'll have to go get some flowers, because I want it to have like flowers to pollinate. Let's get some boxes. Um I won't get any of like the little decorating things quite yet, probably. A little hyacinth lamp might be cute. Um, I've noticed that if you try to get an islander with the same personality as when you already have that, it's harder to find them. Ooh, that's an interesting theory, but that would kind of make sense. Are you going to try to get all the personalities? Because I just care about what they look like. It's so shallow of me, but <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, what other things could I add to the little bee area? Oh yeah, obviously my honeybee models. Oh, all my pockets are full, okay. 
I think I'll add some pots too. So, you know, excuse me. Oh, I should have got some barrels because I just I love the barrels. <laughs> okay, let's drop off the beekeeper's hives. I'm just kind of placing them for now. Um, the bee models. All right. Is it unique? Unique. Thank you for the follow! Let me know if I pronounced it wrong, or if um, you prefer to go buy something else. How are you doing? I'm doing really well. I'm doing an extra stream today, so that made me kind of happy. Um, usually I only stream Monday, Wednesday mornings and Saturday nights, but my kids are gone, so I get an extra stream time, and I'm very happy about that. <laughs> How are you doing today? I have all my trees where I want them nice, so I don't no need to worry about that. I have made a little park place for my trees. Oh, that's so cute. See, that's so smart. I've been just, this whole decorating this island has been just very chaotic. <laughs> I just kind of go with the flow and it's kind of crazy. That's good. I'm also doing it good. So you stream daily? I don't stream daily. Uh, Mondays and Wednesdays in the mornings and Saturday evenings. Um, specific standard time. Um, just because I have my family, my husband and kids. that We need to just kind of schedule around it. It would be fun if I could stream daily, but it's just not in the cards at this time. Maybe like when my kids are in school. Okay, the blood cage be a fun touch. Okay, that's good to hear. Yeah. Family will always come first. Wooden box. I thought I had another bee model. Or maybe I couldn't pick it up. Maybe that's what it was. Do you have any pets? Yes, I do have a dog. He must be sleeping somewhere. But he is a husky... What is he? Husky Australian Shepherd mix. Um, and he's so cute. He's seven. Um, I have a strict schedule. I can't start streaming yet. Aw. Do you plan on starting streaming? And if you'd stream, would you stream Animal Crossing? Okay. Yeah. How about you? People and everyone in chat, do you have pets? What pets do you have? Okay, so let's go. So I can also put some tables back. I liked. Oh yeah, so I have the ranch low tables, but I think I wanted to go. Yeah, make it dark wood. Can I ask you a question? Sure, but the question might dictate whether or not I answer it. <laughs> I have games on my PC. I'd like to stream. Nice, okay. So what type of games do you like to play that you would stream? doing? Getting something out. Uh, okay, some pots. Okay, I think I might go over to Cyrus and have him edit these. Oh, I guess I put it back in my pockets.
Um, I'm a graphic artist, by the way. With your little banner. Um, yeah, if you want to send it to me. But I'm not really, right now, I'm not really looking for artwork to be done at the moment. But you can always feel free to send samples, like, or examples on Twitter. I'm always, I have followed you on Twitter. Um, yeah, if, I don't really use Twitter that much, honestly, so. If I ever get on there. <laughs> yeah, I'll check your, I'll check your page out. But just as a reminder, there's no self-promotion of stuff on chat, but I'm still pretty chill about it. Okay, so let's... Sorry, squirrel, I saw that these were broken. Pretty sure my daughter got on my island and was kicking up some paths. Okay, sure, no problem. Yeah. I know in the future I'll be probably looking for some people who do graphic design and stuff, but we'll wait for your response. Okay. Let's go to Harv's Island. Dang, I forgot to put my chat back on. Haha. -ha. I want to go to Harv's Island. Okay. When I get to the loading screen, I'm probably going to go get a soda. Where'd my husband go? Time for takeoff. Yeah, since both of our kids, or our kids are gone, <laughs> we both enjoy playing games, so we're just like, let's just, let's just have fun this morning and play games. Okay, yep, you can take that off. Ooh. Oh, we're getting so close to hitting the 50 follower mark for affiliate. I'm so excited about that. I'm trying not to focus too much on worrying about like things that will come when I hit affiliate, but I'm very excited because I want to do like the channel points and all the fun alerts and everything. I'm just, I'm excited to get that started, but just focusing on the important stuff right now. <laughs> it will come. Okay, so let's go talk to Cyrus. Music here is so nice. Yes, I sure am. Let's see. Ooh, what's that change to? Brown. <gasps> Ooh, I actually kind of like. I didn't know if these ones had these different versions. But that one's kind of nice. But I think I actually like the darker one better. So, den desk. This is the dark wood. Yeah, that one's fine. Ranch low table. Okay, let's see what colors they have. The dark brown. Yeah, we'll do the dark brown. Okay. I sure am. Okay, do I have anything else in my pockets? Branch little table. I feel like I had. This does change to black. Okay, I'm doing that. I can't believe I went so long without realizing this wasn't part of the DLC. I thought <laughs> Cyrus was part of the DLC for so long. Like, getting this whole little camp of people. 
Boy, was I wrong. Okay. Wheat field. Wooden box. We're going to show the table that one. Cool, I had both of them in here. Oh yeah, just the dark brown. Okay, let's go. I really like the music on Harv's Island. I'm ready to go home. Okay. Once it starts flying, I forgot I was gonna get a soda. Yup. Okay. BRB. There we go. See, my fridge is like right next to me, so <laughs> super fast. Okay. Mm. Okay, so let's go back to the resident area. Take the shortcut. I still need to figure out what I want to do with this little seating area down here. So let's set up those stands. I think I was gonna do the Nordic low table. Okay. And then I think I was gonna do maybe I'll move that one over here. But the ranch low tables. Did I mess you up, Vivian? <laughs> She's just trying to get around me. Okay, dude. Thanks for your help. I think it's funny they'll just like sit and watch you work. Okay. I need the other low table. Okay, so I think I always like getting the things down that I can like put things on. Get my pillow. Get a little extra cozy. Okay, so like I have those. Let's go get some barrels. I probably should bring this over here. Where'd you go? Wooden box. Oh, it's probably up here. Yeah. Forgot that. There was an empty spot. Okay, what should I do? Let's get something out. Or did I already use my barrels? I probably already used them. Like a dum dum. I have one. Okay. I can just use one for now. And I'll do some treasure island hunting later. Let's put a barrel. Do we like that there? Or do I want that on the other? I think I might want that on the other side. Okay. 
Maybe I'll put my box over here. Hmm. This looks like too tucked away. Okay. So I have six spots. Let's drop the pots. Um honeybee model. Let's go put the workbench out. So usually I'll have like my workbench and everything set up before I start stream, but since it's a surprise stream, I don't have it set up. <laughs> but even sometimes when it's due, I am planned. I have the stream planned. It's still not prepared. Okay, so let's go get some flowers. I really... I I wish there was black hyacinths or whatever they're called. But I don't know. I would love. I think I might get the purple ones just so it's like kind of lavender. And I have some. I thought I. Where did I put those? Oh, where did I bury those? They're in the sand. Oh, I think they're by Coco's house. Which is just right here. Ah. So maybe this will be like my most colorful spot <laughs> with the purple, but I think these are so pretty. I think those are purple mums. We'll do the green mums and the blue purple hyacinths, and then I think mix in some black roses maybe? I think I have some in the beach over here. Oh, I think I blocked my secret path. Okay, so... Okay. Those are mostly tulips. Do I want to do lilies? Let's do lilies. I think these are more pretty. What are these guys talking about? We're just a new rhyming game. It says I can find a rhyme for walrus. Tall fuss. <laughs> Why don't I get my dictionary? Aww. Playing cute little games together. Okay. That was an extra one. Okay. I got the flowers. I think that'd be kind of cute. Purple, green, and black. Like, I need to have the black some black flowers incorporated somehow. So, how do I want to do this? Maybe I'll make some. A pa like some pathing. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's start construction. I might make like little lines for like a little garden. that I just have to use the dark ones. Okay, let me push these. Cuz I think I want to just kind of here in the corner, I think. I'm thinking three lines. That might be too big. And I might need to get a couple more beehives. We'll just play around with it. Yeah, 
I'll just pick oh. My pockets are full, so that's I just knew I couldn't pick it up. Okay, so let's get the dark dirt. Okay, no, we're not there. Two, four, maybe just two lines, and I'll do them kind of. Oh, no, I want a little path between it. Okay, I'm gonna put you away. Get out the shovel, or maybe just try to plant it and hope they go in the right spot. Plant. Do a green mom. Let's do maybe the other black lily on this edge. Oh, I guess right there works too. And lurking. Well, thanks for the lurk. Always happy for lurkers because I am a fellow lurker. <laughs> I watch a lot of other streams. I realize I probably wasn't talking very much. Um, but I was. I always watch a lot of other streamers, but I'm always just lurking. So, I always love the lurkers. Um, what am I doing? Green mom. I think I got a little zony for a second. Let's put another, maybe another black lily, and then I'll do like the purple one here. I think that's a cute little garden. So, thinking, putting one of the hives here, maybe, and then maybe one down here. Like the bee models behind the hives to try to hide the stand. Maybe. Let's pick that up. Put this one over here. wheat field in the corner. I went all the way to the corner, not just halfway. Do I do like some pathing in between here? to do, what to do. I think I want to put the pot on a box. Put a little wheat field next to this here. Uh, I want it 
to go. Oh, I don't think I can. That's as far back as it can go, possibly. food jars that might look like little like honey jars hmm. I can center that between the two should I change? oh I didn't know you can use this to change your outfits. That's kind of cool. Okay. Okay, maybe I'll pull up. Um, I have a Pinterest board with a couple B spots. Maybe I'll pull that up to look at it. Villager area. So I'll pull it up I think I can pull this up here. Maybe not. Okay. So, here are some boards. So there's like this one. Here, what if I made this? So that's kind of cute. They have a kind of... Oh yeah, I need to get the honeycomb out. Yeah, maybe getting some... Ooh, I like how they put the bee on the stool. Yeah, some... Wooden... Oh, I don't even remember what those called. But those little wood stakes. Log stakes? Some bushes. That's cute. Oh, that's cute. That design code. Um, yeah, I should probably get a little rocking chair. That'd be cute. And a bucket. Some people just come up with the cutest ideas. I also like this one. I like the custom pathing on that. But... I don't know. Should I make the flowers more random? Is that what's that up there? Be that's a bamboo shoot. Oh, that would be a bamboo shoot lamp. Ooh, a little bug, a little net. That'd be cute. I could get a little net. Some rocks. Oh yeah, maybe some mum cushions too. That would be kind of cute. Okay, so I know for sure I need to get some of the honeycomb out. Maybe I'll make a cushion. Okay, so let's hide this. Oh, she watering my flowers. That's so nice. Um, let's get something out. Okay. Maybe some stones. Do I have any more rocking chairs? I don't think I have any more rocking chairs. I think I've used both of them. Maybe even just a ranch chair would be cute. Um, so... The hay beds were cute too, but... Um, so I do have some wood stakes. Log stakes. Can use those. The honeycombs are probably all the way at the bottom. And a butterfly. So that one's a big butterfly model. 
That might be a little bit too much in that area. It's kind of smaller, so... I do have some cardboard boxes. I need to put those up. Okay, we don't need food stuff. What about... Okay, nothing in here. A hamster cage. There's wasps. So we'll get another pot out. Maybe I'll look at my food and see if there is one that kind of looks like honey, but we can like move it to move the label. Okay, we don't need to worry about clothes. Bugs. Oh, do I have a little honeybee? Still. Oh, they're not by alphabetical order. Butterflies, moth. I might not have any honeybee. Maybe we should use that as a decoration would be kind of cute. Okay, I want to make a flimsy net. So I think those are just sticks that you need. Sticky sticks. And I thought I had like a bouquet of flowers somewhere. Um, got some fencing too, but I think I'll just stick with the log stakes. Honeycomb, honeycomb, where are you, honeycomb? Wasps nests. Okay. So maybe I put another pot up here. Or maybe a honeycomb. What a sweetie pie. Do I put the cage over here? Maybe I'll move it over here by the cage. So it's like she needs to release more bees into her garden. Okay, let's add... Let me just drop some of these on the ground. Oop, not all of them. Let's grab one first and then drop it so we're not wasting things. Oh. Oh, I thought I could rotate it, but I guess not. I put it like on a bench or something so maybe I get a bench out or my little stool and then just bring this off center just a bit add a wasp nest and then I should be able to rotate the stool okay makes it a little interesting or what if I do that I think I like it looking like that a little bit better. Cute. Okay. Hmm. So I do 
Let's check to double check to see what it takes to make a flimsy net. Flimsy net. Probably should make it at the table. It might be helpful. Maybe I'll make her a little watering can too. She's gotta take care of her stuff. What does this take? Softwood, okay. What should I do? Move to pockets. Okay, so let's go make a little flimsy watering can. Oh, wrong button. Let's craft. Okay, so let's do that. Okay. Okay. So should I make like a little workbench for her? Maybe I move this over here. like a cardboard box. So it's kind of hidden. There's no room to place anything. There should be. Maybe I was just supposed to angle the right way. item. item. We rotate it one a bit. No. I don't really like that. Oh no! Not the mums! I think I might switch. this box out, that wooden box for a cardboard box. Um, ranch tea table. Just because I'm lazy, I don't want to drop anything. I'll just move that out. Put a cardboard box down. If I can find one. There we go. Need a pot. Okay. 
And I put the artisanal bug cage back. Oops. Okay, well I know you can fit there because you were there before. So don't do this to me. And where did you go? Oh jeez. Okay. I think we're good. So now let's put the black wooden box. And then put the watering can on top of this. I think I like that better. Um, let's see, and I got a chair out. Where should I put the chair? Just right here on the edge? I just realized there's two bug cages like right next to each other. <laughs> Oops. That's fine. So did I, only, I think I only have two log stakes. Where do I do the other one? Maybe just here? Oh. I cannot. Okay, so let's go get some little things out. I'm gonna look at my recipes and see if there's any like little jars that might look like it could be like honey jars. Um, like maybe those ones. kind of orange so I just need to get some oranges let's let's test it out I might need to work with oh no um like turning that low table around putting it on and then turning it because I don't think I'll be able to rotate the food unless I pull it out okay okay so let's get oranges I think I only needed three Okay, and I have a little kitchen set up for situations like this. Let's make something. It might be a long shot, but... Like, if I you don't see the label, it might be okay. Okay, so let me pull this table out. You know, I think that's gonna work. That kind of looks like little jars of honey. Cute. Okay. Uh, maybe I get a little paper bag and put it like right in front of it. Um, I guess I need to be here. It's about to go back to the kitchen. Get something out. 
Let's see, what would be something nice? Little miscellaneous things. I feel like you need to add some candles or something. I love these candles. Um, do I not have, like, oh, I thought I got, like, a stand of flowers from a treasure island. Maybe add a bunny somewhere. That'd be cute. I always like those little bunnies. A wasp. Painting set. Okay. Housewares. Do I not have any more buckets? Maybe I can try to put these trees out somewhere. Maybe try to hide them with grass. Oops. Or with the wheat, I should say. Put something away. Get something out. Okay. Get something out. Um. Get some more wheat out. Hmm. <laughs> or even can this be moved anywhere? Probably not. I'm looking for this. Um, actually, I don't know how I feel about that one, so. I feel like it's just like missing something. It's like a little too basic. I don't know. Maybe a tree? Maybe I need to put a tree like right here? Do I have a little tree? So that's a big one. That's a big one too. I mean, let's just see what it looks like if I just plant a tree right here. Oh, not right there. Not right there. Maybe I'll have to put oh, my bags are full. Something's in the way. So let's just see what happens. Okay. I think that definitely helps. Actually, let me, what happens if I push everything forward? Let's drop that. Okay, let's get the honeybee model. Put 
the little net right here. Oh, there is two a spot. Don't play with me. Another wheat field behind this tree. Okay. We all try to move it back so it's like behind the tree. Well, that didn't work. Might be too much in the way. I think that's okay. What should I put, like, right here? Something is needed right here. Maybe I can do a wasp nest on a stone stool. Okay. I think I might play a little bit with some paths. Um, I need this one. Just to kind of look, make it help look more worn in. Then I'll just do like a singular, the circle one. Right here. Maybe the wooden planks. Okay. Okay. I'm liking this. It's actually coming together. Might get rid of the little honeybee thing though. Maybe I get rid of that. Pull this a little bit forward and maybe I move the wheat over like that half that half square. There we go. Do I have another wheat field that I can add right here in my pockets right now? Probably. Oh, I do. Oh, there too is. Maybe I do the lock stakes instead. Cute. We do. I. Um, do some like log stakes down. Right here. Uh, okay. I'm gonna pick this up real quick. I do have like a little leaf. thing I could lay down. Just to add something something. Okay. No. I wanted you to go here. There we go. Maybe I can add the chair right under the tree. I think that's 
that's as far as it can go. Ooh. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. So let's go... I was going to try to find a little shopping bag. I thought I saw one in here. Like a sturdy paper bag is what the item is called. Scanning, scanning, scanning. Aha! I do have one. I have a couple, but I just want one for a here. Oh, I don't... Maybe I do keep it right there? I was thinking more on the ground. But that looks kind of cute, just like on... on there. Okay. Hmm. Do I just leave this spot open? Maybe? That's kind of cute. Okay. Maybe I'll just leave it like that for now. Maybe I can add one more row of flowers right here. So I kind of make this whole area. Let's play with that. Oh, of course Vivian sits down right when I decide to do this. Hey girl, you got you got to go. Oh my gosh. Of course she says that. You might find me here tomorrow. <laughs> but I want you to move. Okay, well, get, okay, good. Go away, go, go, go away. <sighs> Do it. One, two, three, four. that there. Okay, so maybe I take out some of these. Oops. Did I only... Okay, I have one more lily plant, so that's good. here. Maybe I'll put the leaf ground design on. So like no more flowers grow. Maybe I can put the little chair right here, make a little sitting spot. Wheat fields. Okay, I have a few wheat fields. Ranch chair. Cody little cozy little nook of sorts.
get another wheat field just right here. Let's get some weeds out and like strategically plant some weeds. Just helps add to the overgrown feeling. That's gonna be over here. We can put some mushrooms down too. I like the mushrooms. And some weeds, please. And thank you. I feel like I need to get like a wood stool to put some candles on or something. Um, so mushrooms. Let's do a little mushy under the tree. Drop. Mm. I think I want you under the tree, buddy. Cute, okay. Okay. Can I drop one right here? Okay, no, that's not gonna work right there. Maybe I'll put the a little bunny like poking out right here. Because I think I still have that in my pocket. Wedding candle. Cute. A little bunny in the garden. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, do I replace one of those with candles? Wedding candle set. Let's just place it down. I think it needs to be on something to give it some height. Um, do I take this box down? No. Let's make a wood stool. I don't think I have... or a log stool, I mean. So, a log stool, I'm guessing regular wood? I think I have a favorited. Log bench is hardwood. A log stool hardwood. Okay. Okay, let's get something out. Let's get hardwood and normal wood because I might also make some more boxes. So... Normal wood, hardwood. Okay, so let's make some stools and then maybe make some boxes and we can customize them. Oh, there's that pretty fun. Let's make a few of these. I like making these and putting things on them for decorating to add some like height and dimension. I might put one of the bee sculptures on one of these, actually. Maybe this one. So a log stool. And then the bee sculpture. This 
has a little height. I'm gonna try to put the stool kind of in front of the cage. Because I don't need it for its functionality. Let's see. If I move this... Can I move it just a little bit that way? Oh, yes. Perfect. Right here. That was a perfect spot. Just what I wanted. Cute. When in doubt, add some candles. I love those wedding candles. Maybe the wooden stakes would be nice there, but I don't think I have any in here. I think I only had two and they were used. Okay, so I th think it's either wood or hardwood, so I should be able to make them. Make a few of them. Let's see what's my craftable. Yeah, normal wood. We're good. Okay. Keep crafting. We'll just start with two. Or is that one? I don't know how many I made. So... Cute. I like that. Oh, I have to put the net back. Okay, you always just have to stand in like just the perfect spot to place it where you want it to go. Even though the tree's like poking through it. Oh, this is super cute! Do I have another wheat field? Or is that too much? Well, I don't think I have any more, so. It works. Maybe. I don't know about this. That's my like thinking, like looking at it from a different angle. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, so what should this area next to it be? I think... Oh, hmm. Maybe I'll make a little like hobby spot because there's a lot of good little hobby items like the clay, the painting. Um... Maybe I can like set up a little craft table. That would be kind of cute, actually. I don't know. Okay. But I actually am very happy with how this turned out. Let's see if I can get a picture of this area. Hmm. 
still not very good. Well, why is it stopped? Okay. Thought it froze for a sec. But we're good. So cute! Okay. Let's pick that up. Let's just do a little bit of pickup right now. So that was the only thing I need to pick up? Okay. Let's see, do I want to keep that or do I want to use like stalls? Or like the tea tables? They're pretty cute. Be cute to like try to use my storage shed somewhere in here as decoration. Ooh, ooh, okay. I can like line that up right there. Maybe. Do I put it in between these? No, not this. The storage. Okay. I kind of like that. So let's put... the tables back out. The ranch tea table. I think you can still access this, so that's nice. Maybe I should have done that with this, like move the storefront over. I kind of like how it's hiding most of the house. Okay, what to make here, what to make. So we have a little bee farm. Let's, let's do a little recap. We have a little bee farm now. Kind of the end of the villager area. Um, and then we're gonna try to add two other type of themed spots. This one will be like a bigger themed area, and like right here, as like a little store or something. And then this is the outdoor, like gathering area for all the villagers, where they can all meet up and just have fun. Um, and then right here is like the bakery and um, cafe types thing where they can get bakers and coffee. I'm gonna add something here, but still not 100% sure what. And this is just a little walking hangout area. And then we have Able Sisters. Um, that has a little like washing station outside and a little like outdoor stand for the shop and then a little market spot for my farmers market for my like community farm and that's just right here and then we have like this little villager area down here that I have no idea what I want to do but I do have a house it's a little fishing spot, which I think is super cute. So what other ideas did I have? I won't be... A 
little bee spot. That's a little eating area. Bakery, cake shop. A little, a little reading area. Maybe I'll make this down here in a little reading area. Here, I'll pull up a little inspo for that. So that's kind of a th an image that I saved. That could be pretty cute. Get some little libraries, stack of books. I like how they decorated this. Um, back. Okay, so let me close, hide that. I think I can make that work over here. Let's see, let's plant another tree. Is the tree gonna fit here? Oh, it's definitely not gonna go there. But maybe here. Nice. Okay. Is this too close to the sand to plant a tree? Maybe. A little music stand too. Maybe this can be like the book and a music spot. Maybe I can make the hangout spot over on the beach, but make like the stands and like where they can get their stuff over here. That might be a cute idea. Let's remove these. I kind of just design and decorate areas just what by like what I'm feeling at the moment. So should I add a storefront in front of the house? Probably here. Let's order some things in here first. I want to get another storage shed because I used mine as. Ooh, I need those sandals. I don't think I have the gumbo. Cute. Okay. Nope, not that. Um, storage shed, I think is what it's called. I know I could search for it, but I feel like it's easier just to do this than try to... So that's three. Maybe I don't have a storage shed. Storage. Okay, maybe I do have to search it. Okay, so go back. Oops. S H E. Oh, nope. Go back, go back, go back. E D. Wooden storage shed. Okay, that's why I couldn't find it. Let's get the. Dark brown. <gasps> it's not for sale. You can't see it behind it. Can I get the... <sighs> Bummer. Okay. So let's just go... Let's just go back over here then. We can see what's for sale in next cranny today. Little tables. Ooh, that's kind of cute. Let's get the lilies. Hmm. 
stuff in my pockets. I need to go take care of that. Let's go plant some of those orange lilies over in Molly's little flower garden. Hers is like an overrun full flower garden. Okay, so let's take... No... I should look for like a blanket coat because I don't think I have any of those anymore. Sorry, Tree, I think you gotta go. That's to move ya. Storefront here. Do I have a retro? Bus station. Oops. So I think if I put this along the side of this house on the right. No. And then put a storefront in front of it. Kind of squares it off a bit. But do I have a storefront in my pockets? I don't think so. I might do that on both of these houses, honestly. Okay, so let's go. Let's go to our storage shed. I'm back. Well, welcome back, Star. <laughs> I finished decorating the little bee area. And I think I'm working on a next little area for at least a little bit longer until I'm done. I'm probably going to be ending around 1230. If not a little sooner. But... This is the finished little bee area. I think it turned out so cute. Definitely came together once we added the little the little touches. And I moved my storage shed in between these storefronts. Sounds nice. Sounds like a plan. Perfect. Let's see. Let's put some things away just so I can clean out some spots. I think we're done with these for now. Log stool. I'll keep that out. Log stakes. Oranges. Confirm. 
You don't have max storage. I don't yet. I still have a loan sitting with <laughs> with um, Tom, with Tommy Boy. I just haven't paid it off. I it I should have because I can just go get money from Treasure Islands. I just still need to do that. <laughs> I, I just haven't run into like needing the max storage yet, so I just it hasn't been a priority for me. I think the next one is max storage. I don't remember. Probably should have taken some stuff out. My little ding dong. Go back from where we came. Yeah, I need to go to get a Treasure Island and get another storage box. Oh, those spider crabs I sold gave me plenty of bells. Nice. It seems like the sea creatures and stuff like that give you a good amount of bells. Okay, so I'm looking for like the storefronts. Oh, I guess I probably should be over here. That might help a little bit. Storefronts and the retro stops. Okay, so I have. I have these. I don't no more stops though. Um, maybe I add a per a pergola to like make a walkway to the beach. Only only the fast and big ones. Ah, uh, okay. That makes more sense. Usually the ones that are harder to catch are better value. Okay, I'm just taking my storage shed with me. I don't want to be running back and forth. So I think I'm gonna make down here by the farm uh, like a music and book area and then have the beach kind of be a hangout spot where people can like read and listen to music. <laughs> Let's put a storefront out. But fossils are the best source of bells. Yeah, that's what I was doing for a long time, is just like collecting all the fossils and then saving them to sell. Okay, cute. Maybe just do a storefront here. I can kind of make it into a little walkway to the beach. I would have to kind of block off the beach area, I guess. Okay, I can't plant that there. Maybe I'll add a tree here. Yeah, before I discovered treasure island hunting, I definitely was trying to just save my fossils and sell those as fast as I could to get the bells. I'm currently stacked at max bells thanks to my dedication. Nice. Um, six hours of Animal Crossing each day can do wonders. Dang, yeah. Yeah, you can get a lot done in that. In that amount of time. Maybe we won't use that. Maybe we'll use the arch instead. Okay. And maybe even a little stall. Okay. 
Yeah, I probably still won't do the beach area for a while because I have a lot of my flowers just chilling here. I got three stars within a week and a half. Nice! Good work! Get something out. I know some people's strategies with this are so insane to me. How they can be so efficient. Ooh, we use a counter. Let me just get some of my stalls. They might look nice down here. Maybe. Maybe I get rid of that tree though. If I put the stall in front of this, that might, like, box out the entry to the house too much. But that doesn't include the time travel to get up with the islanders I don't want. Yeah. Now that takes a lot of time. For sure. Oh wait, I don't want the pergola. I want the... this one. Be too much. What if we try it without the storefronts and just the stalls? Or if I got like simple panels to be put behind the stalls? Yeah, which is why the use of time travel is effective. Yeah, it's so nice that that is, you're like able to do that. I might, I might move this tree, even though I just feel like I just put it there. Peaches, 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 peaches. I just recently saw that movie. The Mario movie is so good. And it's been stuck in my head. I love Jack Black. One of my favorite movies with him is Nacho Libre. It's so good. Okay, so I need my shovel. Out. They'll fix it some point of the next game, I'm sure. Yeah, so like they, you won't be able to time travel. I can understand why they would want to do that, but I would also be sad. <laughs> Maybe... Nice. I know, I'm very interested to see what they would do with like a game after this they already did it with Pokemon so yeah I haven't really played the Pokemon game so I'm not super familiar with that only a matter of time <laughs> literally it is a matter of time <laughs> travel <laughs> Sorry, sometimes I think I am funny, which I know I'm not. <laughs> okay, so I do want to do... Let's get some simple panels out and play with that. They're all the different colors black one let's just play with one of them and see how it looks out like how it looks I'm gonna go into resident services to use the workbench in there 
always get lost on my own island. You think I'd be the one who wouldn't? But I do. Go in. Thank you. Around 9 p.m. I'm watching a certain streamer who might be on tonight for Genshin Impact. Nice. I don't think I've, I've I haven't watched anyone play that. Nothing good. But that would be fun. Right now I'm like in my own little um bubble of like watching Animal Crossing streamers. A little obsessed at the moment. Um, customize something. Hello, you can call me Nader or Nate. Well, thanks for the follow, Nate, and thank you for letting me know right away. Um, welcome in. I am just working on doing some decorating on the island. Um, trying to customize some simple panels. But thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Ooh, do they have any? The wood one's not bad. I do have these. That actually might look kind of nice. But maybe I should go customize these to look like wood, like the brown. With Cyrus. I don't know. Simple panel. Oh, perfect. Okay, let's do that. Let's see what it looks like with these behind the stalls. To make our little, like, music. reading area. I'm done for now. It might look, might look okay with the black. Just because like my stalls are black. But if it looks too weird, we can change it up. Okay. Just back over here. It's my crazy padding. I guess I, they're not black cells, they're dark wood. I forgot. So it might be better to change these to like a dark brown border. Oops, no, go back. Oh, no, not that one. Um, simple panel. I watch all kinds of content. Yeah, nice. I need to branch out a little bit more. <laughs> Just sometimes, like, I'll find someone that I just become obsessed with watching a little bit, and I just love watching their streams. And then it gets harder to branch out. But. Mm, I don't know how to feel about that. I don't think, I don't think that's it. Maybe we just stick with the storefront and put a table in front of it. I'm working on making my video game. <gasps> cool, and still have time to play games and watch streamers. So, so are you working on like developing a game? Is that what you mean? If so, that's super cool. And I would love to hear about it. But oh, are you kidding me? It's always around this time that uh, my capture card likes to freeze on me. Yeah, I'm a solo dev. That is amazing! What are you working on? Okay. Hold on. 
don't know why this keeps happening. It's usually around when I get close to two hours that my capture card software like freezes. Task. For now, basic turn-based RPG. Sweet. Honestly, people like you amaze me. I don't have, I know probably a lot of learning and whatever, but the creativity that it takes to do that is amazing. And I, I think it's so awesome that you're doing that. Okay, I might have to end stream in a few minutes, just because of if it fr yeah if it freezes again I'll end. But let's see. So I don't know the process of obviously what it takes. Um, I am good at art, working on my music design and coding is the fate of my existence. <laughs> yeah. So, so what's like, I know you said it's a, a basic turn-based RPG, do you have like a, th uh, like a type of theme, I don't know, I don't know the questions to ask, I guess, um, but art and music, I don't know, is there anything you can like tell about your game that you're working on? Or like how far along in the process? <gasps> Ooh, it's based off a D and D campaign I made. Sweet. That's super cool. I was actually just talking yesterday about D and D, how I need to look into it because I had a bad experience playing it like ten years ago, and it's just kind of like turned me off from trying again since then. Okay, I want a storefront. Do I not have another storefront? Huh. Oh, I guess, yeah, my storefront's right there. Yeah, if you come up with your own D&D &D campaigns, you... Like, I can already tell you're a super creative person, so that's gonna be so awesome. You're just playing with the wrong people. Well, 100%. The kind that don't know how to teach. Yeah. So, I talked about it a little bit yesterday, but yeah, I really had no experience at all when I first played this. And I think they made their own campaign. They, like, didn't give me any sort of instruction. And when I'm learning and playing a game, like, I need rules. I need structure. Like, I need something to help it make sense to me. And I'm sure, like, once I learn the basic rules, learn, like, the basics of it, um, it will be easier, but yeah, just that one time, and it was just long, and I was just so, like, annoyed the whole time, it was just awful. Um, it was homebrew then. Yeah, is that what you guys, is that what it's called when you make your own campaign? I don't know the lingo. It's just the real thing is, like, finding time to actually do it. I don't know. I feel like my creative juices for decorating on this island are slowly withering away. I'm gonna just get a few more things out and then call it. Get something out. Um, ranch low table, did I not edit that one? Nordic low table. Oh, I was gonna get another store for now. 
custom stuff in campaign is homebrew. The campaign name is what the campaign is. Okay. Yeah, that that it makes that makes sense. I might be asking dumb questions about D&D that should be obvious, but I don't know anything, so. <laughs> um, storefront. I know I have several more. At least I should. There they are. Yeah, when I played, I think I was the only one who hadn't played before. Um, and, yeah, they just, like, started playing, and I, yeah. Omru is broader terms, is broader in terms of rules, so it's understandable. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. I was recommended to get like the starter pack or a starter kit or something like that. And I think, actually, I was thinking about that this morning. I think my sister, who does play um, D and D, and like I think she's working on making her own miniature miniatures and stuff. I think she bought my parents the starter set to like try to teach them. Uh, my sister lives on the other side of the country from me. But my parents live locally, so I think they might still have it at their house that I might be able to, like, take from them. I'll have to ask them. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna like using that. I think this is a uncustomized low table. Yeah. So I think it'd be fun for this area to get like some of the KK slider artwork, like music, and display it to make it look like records. And have it look like you could pick out a record, get like some headphones or something, and you take it to the beach and get like a little book stand with books, the little mini um, libraries, um, maybe like a little tiny coffee cart, like maybe a serving cart with a coffee thing on top. And then eventually, I'm gonna do all the beaches last because, like, I don't even know what to do with the beaches. Maybe some I'll totally block off because I'm lazy. But it's kind of cute. Maybe like just a few tables. Okay, I think I might just call it for today because I did decorate the other area. Um, okay, but the character builder, let's switch to this, uh, but the character builder is a bit more complicated, which is why a lot of new players are intimidated. Yeah, I don't even remember if they had me build, I think they had me build something, but like didn't give me any instructions. I'd say the most basic thing to do is play half orc barbarian. Dumb attack I <laughs> to the, get the grasp of the rules. Okay, before you play any other class. Yeah, I think it just like started from the get go of being like overwhelming a bit and feeling like I I, I don't know. So I I want to give it another chance because uh, my husband's friends like he has a few friends that play. Um, and I think they all like play like online together, like call each other and play together because we all live so far away. Um, but I need to give it another chance because I feel like that's something I would enjoy once I get the hang of it because I do enjoy games and stuff. But thanks for joining me on my extra stream for the week. I'm um, really happy I was able to do this. One tip though, never play ranger. They are useless. Okay, good to know. <laughs> uh, 
That's awesome. Okay. Um, so before I go, I just want to say thank you for anyone lurking. Thanks, Star, for joining in the chat and everyone else who chatted with me today. I always love chatting with people. Um, I think I want to raid somebody before I go. Um, okay. I want to raid Birdadoo. If you guys are unfamiliar with her channel, I think today she's doing a quiet co-play, um, like parallel playing working stream, so most of it's quiet. I'm going to pop my raid message. This is the second raid I'll do. Um, so if you want to copy the message, we'll raid her channel. Um, I, she's like one of my favorite people to watch. So we can go enjoy a nice, cozy watching experience. Have a good day. You too. You have a good day too, Star. Um... So let's raid. Oh, there's my husband lurking out. Okay, so everyone have a good day. I will be back on Saturday night. So let's go raid and see you later. Bye. Good, I'm still